Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow Seven Gaming, and we are back with Mech Warrior Five with Mellow's Mag Magner's Magnate spreading the apple seeds of alcohol. Really, I mean that's the whole point, right? The rest of it's all an excuse. So, um, I was going to do a little bit more off camera, but we need to talk to Rihanna before it will even let me travel somewhere. So we are going to go talk to Rihanna first, and then we will figure out. Oh, can I just click it? What happened that way? No, of course not. I have to run up there. Of course. I don't know why that matters. I think I should just be able to click and it should just put me there and give me the conversation. But I'm lazy. Hey, Commander. Thanks to Spears' people, we now know we're somewhere within Inferno's current sphere of operations. However, we still haven't been able to pinpoint the location of their base. What we have learned is the name of the man who killed your father, the leader of Black Inferno. Name's Andreas Cain. He was loyal to one of the Marik factions for a while, making a nasty name for himself. He was responsible for several massacres as well. Of course, that was before he struck out on his own and set up shop as a mercenary. After that, his trail runs cold. Unfortunately, that means there's a lot we still don't know, like how Inferno became as big as they are, or who their current benefactor is. Andreas Cain. When we find him, Rihanna, I'm going to tear him and his mech limb from limb. I have no doubt, Commander. But we need to find him first. I've been scanning the comms looking for any mention of Inferno activity. Not ten minutes ago, I picked up a distress call from a nearby port city. They have come under successive attacks by a mercenary group and are asking for immediate help. Sound familiar? Sure does. The distress call had this image embedded in the transmission. It's a map of the city and port. I think it's best if I drop you down here, just outside this farm. You can proceed from there into the main city itself and ensure that it's protected. The port is nearby, over here. That's where I'll pick you up once the city and port have been secured. Questions? Nope. Plan sounds good. All right. Get us where we need to go, Commander. I'll keep monitoring the situation. Roger that. All right. Um, I'm actually going to... Well, let me turn her down a little bit again. Uh, again, the acting and writing is top-notch. Um, so the question is, well, we'll go ahead and we're going to head accept it. Do we do that today? Um, battle mechs need to be repaired. I would rather do that elsewhere. Um, we do also have... We're level 10 now, so we could opt to an area that has 10s, because we're 9s, right? That's more likely to let us use our big mechs. Um, that's 10. Uh, let's go up and see kind of like... Uh, we still haven't got this, have we? I still wanted to get that mech. How many... That's a 3 mission operation. All right, I propose this. We take a couple days to do this. Let's do a demo. Oh, I can't travel in the middle of it. Let's do a demolition. We'll travel, we'll repair, we'll come back. We'll do the first mission of the... Th Can I save in the middle? Hmm. Oh, if we can, we can. If we can't, I hit stop and hit start again. We'll go that way. So we'll do one and one today. We'll do the next two tomorrow, and then we'll see kind of where we are cash-wise. I would still like to buy that uh, that Orion with the Gauss, the Protector, the Hero Mech, um, a lot. I think it's a great mech. And even though we probably have the tonnage we need for this next mission, um, I'd like to get it. Um, and so I think we delay the story for just a little bit by doing that. Alternatively, we could accept this other uh, storyline here, the enemy of my enemy. The problem is there's no guarantee it's going to keep us within, you know, the three to four jumps that we need to stay in um, to get this mech. So let's go ahead and let's accept the demolition now. We'll take that. We'll go for salvage. We'll just go all salvage. What the hell? Uh, we'll hit accept. we got 270 tons we can bring. Let's knock off all of this stuff. Um, let's go ahead... And what do we take? We've got all sorts of options today. Um, 270, huh? We could almost do... I'm going to go 
Oh, we're still missing the PPCs on that. All right, I'll go Stalker. I'm gonna take the Awesome for, actually for LRM support more than anything else, but with PPCs as well, we'll stick them in back. That leaves us 105 tons to go, so we can take a 55 and a 50 if we've got them kicking around. Um, we do have a Trebuchet. Um, we've got a Vindicator. Where are we at if we take a Battlemaster? 250. Do we want to do it with three mechs? Yes, and I have another question to ask here. This is a mini trial here, right? If we take three mechs, but we take one, two, and four, will he line up in the fourth spot behind us, or will he line up on our left in the third spot, right? Because it's it's a di more or less a diamond. So one, two, three, four, usually. So could we kind of force that to happen? Let's see what it does. Um, I'm going to hit ready, and we'll be back for the mission. And yep, he We've stood been him back. With the destruction of an industrial center marked at Nav Point Alpha, be sure to watch your fire around any pipes or tanks. Oh no! The contents have the potential. We will not be watching explosive. our fire around pipes or tents. We will tanks. We will be hitting them with everything. <laughs> PPCs for days. Wow, they're missing that dude a lot. Sure you did. We'll go with a little bit more pinpoint accuracy here. Uh, tank, we got another one out there. A couple more up here. Uh, just kind of do a little bit of a... A little bit of a walk there. I'm gonna go back. Oh. Shake it off. Shake it off. Wow, there's a lot of LRMs in there. Oh, well, he's got two tens. Let's fix that. There we go. Fixed. And let's just finish him if we can. All right. Now, let's see. Who do we got here? not get the critical hit. Our heat's critical, but he... Yes, he lost his arm. Alright, I'm going to spin around. See if I can find... wherever that little dude is that's going after me. And he's almost done. Kill these turrets anyway. Right? And then we'll just kind of throw some LRMs in here. What else we got going on? We got this dude right here. Okay. What do we got left? We got a uh, spider left here, right? Oh, I can't get around with the other guns. Come on, come on, spin. They just dropped some more people. You've managed to demolish about half of the target's buildings. Crack on, Commander. There we go. He didn't need that leg, did he? Oh, come on. Come on, get off the rock then. There we go. Give me guns, give me guns. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Let's just walk through this. What do we got over here? What 
are we at? 28%. Okay. Alright, we got lots of little dudes in here. I'm just gonna walk through this building. I'm targeting everything. I need to duck this way. Well, we can only move so fast. Let's get out of here. Got a helicopter up here somewhere. There we go. Oh, and we don't have to go far. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I actually got him. I'm a little bit surprised at that. Oh, well, let's finish him. Since he was standing there without legs. Ah, oh, we did good. The battle master did great. The awesome did great. I was really the only one to take any damage, but I didn't. Oh, I take it back. I lost, what, a medium laser? Maybe an SRM-6. I guess it's an SRM-6. We lost one thing. We took a crit out there in the arm, but that's okay. All right, we got a Cicada and a Centurion. Cicada's worth a little bit more. We'll go ahead and take that. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that. Let's see if we got anything else we need that's worth money. We'll just go for cash here. So is there an SRM-6 down here somewhere I could take? I would take that if there was. Don't see it. We'll go ahead and continue. Uh, he only took 42 damage. He only took 113. He improved his uh, gunnery skill there. Uh, raised a little bit, but nothing improved. And we improved our missiles. That was nice. Perfect. All right. I'm going to hit close. We're going to go ahead and fly back to another planet. We'll repair everything. And then we'll be back to continue on one of these three mission operations. We've got a few options. Uh, we've got one there. We've got one here as well. Um, and we've got one here. Maybe we'll come here and do the raid instead. That might be interesting. All right, everything's fixed, uh, more or less. Uh, I decided I actually like the Vindicator that we had in cold storage that we salvaged more than the one we had. We had a 1R. I like the 1X a little bit better. It has the two um, uh, ballistic slots. The other one was uh, three energy, one missile. This is two, two, and one. Um, I like that actually, I think, a bit better. Um, we could conceivably do something else with that. Uh, you know, we could maybe do some of the Smato Cannon 2s and maybe get rid of the PPC and, uh, you know, maybe two Auto Cannon 2s and like a, maybe an LRM-10 if you get rid of everything else and uh, go with just a long range support mech might be really interesting. Um, I think there's some ways we could do it. For now, I've just repaired it. I removed two of its four jump jets, maxed out its armor. That's all it needed to do um, and left it alone for the most part. So that's that. Um, it's finished. Warhammer, I went ahead and put two PPCs on. It obviously needs to finish repairing. Uh, a tier one and a tier two. I uh, haven't been able to find another tier one. We could have taken one off of here and given this the two. I don't think it really matters. So that's what we've done. My problem is, if we go here and we click Hero Mech, it still shows it's for sale. And I click on it, it's not actually here. Now, maybe the two mechs we've shown, we've moved into here. Because um, we sold the Vindicator, I sold the Commando, and I sold the Cicada. It maybe they pushed it off the list. It's possible. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to we got a little bit of money, so I'm going to save really fast here, just in case, and we'll just say um, uh, Orion Experiment. There we go. Back. Resume. We're, whoops, we're gonna go to star map. I'm gonna travel up and then back and see what happens. Actually, maybe I'll travel here to see what this weapon is and then we'll travel back. I was honestly planning on just looking and then coming back. However, a second SRM-6 with Artemis. They've got an AC-10, uh, AC-1, or I'm sorry, another AC-10, burst fire that's tier four. That's pretty good. Um, LRM-10. ST I like a lot. LRM15 ST. Um, they have two of those. 
What do we have on our, our catapults? A K two, isn't it? Archers, archers already fifteens. Okay, good, good. I like that. Um, let's go back to the mar market. Let's go back to equipment. Let's see if we can find this SRM six with Artemis. Wow, that's expensive, but we're gonna buy it um, because I already have one. And I'd like to have two um, potentially for some X. So let's go ahead and. Oh, that's really good. It's tier four with Artemis. Too late now, we can't back out. I'm going for it. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I believe that gives us, like I said, two SRM6s. Yeah, we've got a tier three and a tier four. Um, and I believe I've got ammo for those as well somewhere. Um, SRM Artemis ammo, I've got four tons of that. So this would be really good on something. Do we have a UAC that I've been sitting on this whole time? Yeah, I've got an LB10X two of them that we should put on something and two UX that need to go on something. We need mechs that we can put ballistic guns on. Let's take a look, see what they have here just out of curiosity. Do you have a Black Knight, which I would not mind. We could probably come up with the tonnage for it if we, or the money for it pretty easily if we wanted. It's only 5.6 mil. Uh, they happen to have my least favorite awesome, one PPC and an LRM. Uh, I mean, they got a large laser too. Um, so you could do two PPCs if you wanted. Uh, another Archer. Um, and a rifleman, which we could do something with. Uh, this one's two, two, four, four. We could do say two UX, um, along with the two large lasers and the two mediums. That might be possible. That's four million. We're pretty close to that already. That's possible. Um, they tend to get blown up pretty easily, but if we put them maybe in slot four, maybe that keeps him back far enough, even though he's have range. Um, maybe that keeps him safe. I don't know. Let's go ahead. I'm going to fly back though, real fast, and uh, let's see what happens happens with this uh, Orion. Be right back. Nope, he's gone. He says he's there, but he's not. I got one more thing to try. I'm going to save the game one more time. Uh, new more experiment. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to I'm actually going to exit the game and we'll come back in and we'll see what happens. Nope, still gone. Now, we could do some... We, we could potentially... It may still be there, and maybe they can only just show X number of mechs. Let's see, does it say he's still here? It says he's still here. What happens if... What happens if we buy a commando? All right, so our bottom mech right now is the Wolverine. Uh, they are, Well, you know what? They're in alphabetic order, aren't they? So if it was X number that it would show... He should be right in here between Commando and Shadowhawk. Think we lost him, guys. Think that's the end of the experiment. It's still there somewhere. I don't know why it says it is or isn't, um, but he is clearly not showing up. We don't see anything weird here. Nope. Uh, Market-wise, I don't really see anything I want here. We could do a Shadowhawk, especially now that we got the UAC replace that AC-5 with that, but I don't really need another 55-tonner. Um, the Honestly, the Rifleman makes more sense. Slightly bigger at 60 tons. Um, a possibility, I suppose. Um, but I think for now, we're just going to say heck with it. We need to do another mission. We need to work our way up here. Um, let's go to... Let's go to ta uh, Tongatapu. Be right there. Lots of editing in this one. Ooh, okay. This says nine. This says nine. That's seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Eight. This one, however, <laughs> says 11. But there's a mission here at New Olympia. We've got a mech here. We've got a mech here. I'm gonna fly here and see if anything else opens up, but clearly there's something going on here at New Olympia, but it says recommended 11. So where is a 10? Is maybe one over here? I do not know, we'll find out in a second. Oh. Do you see what I see? 
Actually, either of these would be pretty good. Um, Black Knight would be good. Regular Crab would be pretty decent, except again, we don't need that weight. I don't really need this weight either, but the Gridiron with a Gauss, it's another way to get into a Gauss, but it, oddly enough, it's more than the Orion was at 8 million, right? Because the other one was what, like 7.9 or 7.8, something like that. Um, at least I was thinking that was, but that's a good mech. Um, as is this, as is this. Of those, as is this. Another stalker might be the best bet. We could do a long range one. We could leave it like this, or we could do just do a super like badass one in the back that we just set up back there with um, LRMs, maybe LRMs and smalls, right? Because even with four smalls, if our experiments were correct, he should stay back for the four LRMs, but then he'd have the smalls if something got close. That's a possibility. We don't have the money for any of them at the moment, but these would all be great. I would be super happy with anything from here on down. Uh, the Marauder's the cheapest, um, and we could put a UAC on there pretty easily. King Crab's two AC-20s, but we could put two LBA-10Xs on there if we wanted. Um, not really a reason to because I think the weight of these is such that replacing those would save us so much I don't know what the hell else we'd do with it to be honest um, we could do like two LB 10x as a PPC and an LRM 20 hmm. I'm not sure if this is a medium or a large I'm not sure might be stuck with the 15 but a UAC on that would be great LRMs on that would be great a Gauss would be awesome any of these would be good let's check the star map real fast and see if we do in fact have a 10. We have a 10 there, we've got a 10 there. So we've got two options. Um, uh, neither of them show missions in them yet, oddly enough, but let's fly up here. We'll do that. Let's check the barracks real fast, see if there's a badass pilot in here, 32, 33, 12. I don't think that's better than anything we have. You know, 33 is not bad. We could dump Cloutier if we want, but he's already at 25. We've already got some guys in the 30s that need to be leveled up. And ready, this dude's only 19. So yeah, there's no reason. No reason at all. Good name. Uh, oh, Dupree. Well, Captain we could. Ready, we could go with like a, a, a Ultima Four theme. Uh, we can get Dupree into the into the group here real fast. But otherwise, um, I don't really see a reason for it. Um, although we do have McCormick Spices here in town. Maybe we honor them and bring in a really crappy pilot. Not likely. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can find a submission via Midkiv. All right, welcome to uh, Mundrabilla. We have a four mission operation. Probably not going to take that. We do have a demolition and a war zone. Let's go ahead and take the war zone. We haven't done one in a while. Um, we don't have a huge number of points here. Um, you know what? We'll just put them all in there. 18, maybe we get a decent mech to sell, something along those lines. Um, we do have some tonnage. We can take an extra 65 on top of what we've already got. Um, Actually, I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to throw the Archer back in here for 70. And that's going to leave us 60, 75 that we could take there. Um, we could go Thunderbolt. We'd go Warhammer. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Battlemaster here. Because for whatever reason, even though these two should be equal left-right, this one does seem to take more damage. I don't disagree with that at all. There have been some comments on that in the in chat. And I'm going to take the Warhammer. We've got the space for it. Uh, we need a pilot. Um, Let's take this dude. Um, no, let's take McGee. Can go up to... Well, let's go four. Four is slightly better anyway for tank and damage. Um, only one on heat management and three for evasion. Um, but I think that's fine. We'll go with that. So, uh, Warhammer. We used a slightly darker blue. I think I like this blue better than these blues. I might... Probably not going to do it, but anyway, that, that is. Finally, we can take some big guys. Let's go ahead and get in there. We are walking.
walking right into the thick of it, Commander. Help each other hold back the tide of the enemy advance as long as possible, and then get the hell out of there. We will be on standby, waiting for your extraction. Good hunting. All right, let's get in there. Now, hopefully this edit's down, because I'm already at 36 minutes on the recording here. So hopefully we'll be okay. We're going to do what we need to do, and we'll get the hell out. That's my plan. I think I'm going to walk this way. Let's not eat that SRM-10 just quite yet, or SM-20. Of course, we put him... We swatched him around so that he wouldn't take the damage. So where is he running? Right out front. Where he is going to eat the damage. I think it's just because he's faster. I think whichever one you put up there that's faster is going to end up out front. I think that's all it is. Yeah, let's get that SRM out of the way. Oh, they gave us a dude with armor on it. I mean, for a couple minutes. There we go. There's the battle master up front there in three. You know what I'm going to do? Need a door, make a door. Some, oh, he came through the wall at the same time. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I did, actually. But okay, fair enough. I got that one. Ah, uh, we'll use this door for the moment. I like to have cover, especially when you're a close-range brawler like this. It's nice to have some some ways to sneak up on the enemy there. Oh, he tried to sneak up on me. <laughs> Alright. Now, we could leave the archer in back, but I haven't really seen a reason to yet. going to stop here for a second, though. He did a little break dance in there at the end. Anybody else want some? Where's his tank? Come on, buddy. Wow. We are a death machine. I am a golden god. I am the Lizard King. Some doors, some movie references. Golden God was that uh, almost, almost famous. Looks like you got their attention. I'm showing Oops, we don't need that zoom. I think we can probably turn off the night vision. Where are they flying in from? Right there. Okay. And of course, the super jabby's the hard one to kill. These things are just so good. I'm gonna turn the night vision back on. Where's the big dude? Wasn't there a big dude here a second ago? in the head. I don't think we normally headshot people with SRMs, but I'm going to do it this today, just because I can. There's a wall there I can't do much about. Man, we are rushing them. Where are they at now? Um... Wait for them to start firing pieces there. They're behind us already. How about that dude? Oh, he's too far out. It's probably going to clear before it lets us actually shoot out our M's or anything. Oh, maybe not. Let's get a little bit closer. We've only got about 400 meters of range. Now. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to stop here, actually.
me spin back around. Oh, is that guy just about gone? Did he get spun around, get everybody out of the way. Put a leg in there somewhere. Shut down. Somebody can finish him for me, please. He's almost. Come on. Really? There we go. All right. I'm in decent shape. Everybody else is in great shape. We've got five more things to kill. This is the last wave that we have to get. That dude is probably the most dangerous. Let's put everybody on him. LRMs go flying in. We start to get some damage on him. I'm gonna hide behind here a little bit. Everybody else is in better shape than me, actually. We can kill that dude now on the walk in. Now get behind a wall. I'm just gonna move this way. I'm gonna let them kill him. I'm just gonna hide behind a wall. Oh, that went through the, was that an ammo explosion? We took a big hit to the back there, whatever it was, because we had back armor a second ago. Oh. About to lose everything else, too, here. They got him. over there. Stop hiding behind the wall. That's what I'm doing. Get him. He's so close. Everybody else is in great shape. I'm the only one damaged, but I mean, that makes sense. But whatever it was that got me at the back that went through the back armor, that was harsh. All right, let's get out of here. And we're out. We could stay. Um, they could do more damage, but I can't. I'm hoping wherever they land is far away from me. Behind us, they're going after them. Fine. No, not really. He's a real target ID. I might not have hit it fast enough. Doesn't matter. We're just going over this hill, and we are out of dodge. Took a little bit of damage. Lost uh, two SRM6s and three medium lasers. That's fine. Let's get that thing. I'm going to sit here for a second. We're close. They're in pretty reasonable shape. We'll see if we can get something else popped up. I don't know that I want one of those. Screw it. I don't think it's worth it. Mission success, Commander. Let's get out of here. Time to get out of here. Of course, the mech I wanted, we're one short of. That would have been amazing if we could have picked that up. It would have been really, really good. So we've got a couple options. Now, if we take these two we could get essentially 4.7. If we take these two, we could get 5.7. I think we do that route. Uh, and I don't mind the Hunchback. Uh, was the 4H, that was the first one we killed with the LRMs maybe? Um, either way, we're gonna take it. Uh, level up, level up, that's nice, level up. I'm up to nine. I took a lot of damage that time, 422. We just missed it by two damage. Um, he only took 119, he only took 131. He actually took the most damage, 202. So level, our third mech did not take the most amount of damage. Um, so, okay. Well, we're going to start paying attention to that more. Or at least that's my plan. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. We'll go ahead. We'll get stuff repaired. We'll take a look. Um, just so you know, the mechs that I saw here um, were... Wherever I saw them, they went away. Um, I think it was here. There was a...
somewhere in here there was an uh, an atlas and a stalker the stalker with three missiles two srm sixes an lrm 10 or 15 and two large lasers and four mediums or whatever it is um however they may have gone away because we had to travel this way to get here we couldn't jump so this is actually four jumps from here so we probably lost all of the light mechs here because that would have been well i don't know probably still four jumps but we go there one two three if we go there one two three uh, do we have a spot down here? Four. Three to here. Oh, I thought it said alt door for a minute there. I thought we were going to get a get a War, Warhammer deal. Um, I'm going to go here. We'll uh, repair up, and then we'll come back next time. We'll see what we want to do. All right, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.